السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome viewers to our channel Mwali Muhassan channel I look at this question which reads like this the first fifth and the seventh term of an eighth of an arithmetic progression correspond to the first three terms of a decreasing geometric progression the first term of each progression is 64 the common difference of the AP is D and the common ratio of the GP is R so the first question is asking write two equations uh, involving D and R so we are told uh, the first term of an AP that is A term of an AP will be A plus 4D and the seventh term of an AP will be A plus uh, 6D this one corresponds to the first con the three consecutive terms of a decreasing GP. So the first term of a GP we can also uh, is also a. The second term of an of a GP will be AR, and the third term of an a of a GP will be AR squared. The formula for for getting this one is uh, a plus n minus one d, where d is the common difference and n is the term number or geometric progression then the formula for finding the number of terms is a r n minus one so that's how you can come about uh, this so we are but we are told the first term is 64 so we have 64 plus uh, 64 plus 4d then we have 64 plus 6d for the ap for gp we also have 64 then we have uh, 64R, then we have 64R squared. So uh, we equate the terms that correspond to one another. So we have 64R, 64R, 64 plus 4D. Then the third term of GP, 64R squared, which is 64 plus 6 d so we have formed two equations involving uh, d and r involving d and what d and r so the second question of part a is asking find the value of d and r find the value of d and r so we can use the first equation to find the value of d so therefore we can come and say 64 plus 4d will be equal to 64 r let's take 64 on the side then we have 4 d equals to 64 r minus 64 divide by 4 divide by 4 therefore d will be equal to 64 r minus 64 all over 4 that is the value of b so we can use the second equation where we have d we can replace with 64 r minus 64 divided by 4 so we have uh, 64 r squared will be equal to 64 plus 6 d and d we have uh, 64 r minus 64 all over 4 so by 2 2 by 2 we have 3 so therefore we have 64 r squared will be equal to uh, 64 plus then we have uh, 6 3 times 64 r then we have uh, 192 r 192 r minus 3 times 64 we have 192 divided by 2 so we, we multiply times the lcm which is 2 So we have 2 times 64, we have 128 equals to 128 r squared equals to 128 plus this one cancel with that. So we have 192 r minus 192 minus 192 minus 192. So if we collect the like terms. Uh, we have 128 r squared will be equal to 128 minus 192 
we have uh, minus 64. We have minus 64. So we have 192R minus 64. So let's take this one on the other side. Then we have 128R squared will be minus 192R plus 64 equal to 0. So we have uh, a 64 is common here. So we can divide by 64. Divide by 64. Divide by 64. Divide by 64. So that by 64, 1 by 64, we have uh, 2. So we have 2R squared. By 64, 1 by 64, we have 3. Minus 3R three by 64, 1 by 64, 1. So we have uh, plus 1 equal to 0. So the product will be 2 times 1, which will be 2. Sum will be negative 3. So the two numbers, when multiplied, that will give you 2. And when you add, it will give you negative 3. Is uh, negative 2 and negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 1, we have positive 2. Negative 2 plus negative 1, we are going to have negative 3. So we are going to replace with the value of b using those two numbers, these two numbers. So we have 2r squared minus 2r minus r, which is 1, plus 1 equals to 0. So the first two terms, 2r is common. So we have 2r. So 2r squared divided by 2r, we have r. 2r divided by 2r, we have 1. Then we have 1 is common here. Then minus r divided by negative 1, we have r. Positive 1 divided by negative 1, we have negative 1. Equal to z, equal to 0. So therefore, 2r minus 1, r minus 1 equal to z. That means 2r minus 1 equal to 0. Uh, 2r equals to, we take 1 on the other side, which is 1, divide by 2, divide by 2. Therefore, r will be equal to a half. Or, r minus 1 equals to 0, we take on the other side, so r equals to uh, 1. But here we are told uh, uh, the first three terms of a decreasing geometric progression. So for us to have a decreasing geometric progression, then r should be a half. So we take the value of r to be a half. If the value of r is a half, what will be the value of d? Remember we said d equals to 64r minus 64 all over 4. Okay? But r is a half. So we come and say 64 times a half minus 64 uh, divided by 4 by 2 1 by 2 that is a uh, 32 32 minus 64 that will be negative 32 divided by 4 which will be negative 8 so that is how you find the value of r and the value of uh, d now we move to part b of the question roman 1 they are asking for uh, find the sum of the first 10 terms of the arithmetic progression and the formula for finding the first uh, the, the, the sum of an AP is sum of the first 10 terms will be n all over 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 times d where n is the number of terms a is the first term n is the number of terms and d is the common difference which is negative 8 so you come and say that they are asking for the first 10 terms. So we'll be say 10 all over 2 into bracket 2 times a, which a, which is 64, plus n, which is 10 minus 1 times d, and d here is negative 8. By 2, 1 by 2, we have 5. Therefore, we have 5 into bracket 2 times 64, that is 128, plus 10 minus 1, that is 9. 9 times negative 8. So we have 5 into bracket 128 plus 9 times 72, we have negative 72. So we have 5 into bracket 128 plus minus, we are going to have negative. So 128 minus 72, we are going to have uh, 56. And 5 times 56, 
we have 280. So that will be the sum of the first 10 terms of the arithmetic progression. Uh, what about the first 10 terms of, of GP? Remember, our value of R is a half. So that means uh, R is less than 1. If it is less than 1, we know the formula. Sum of the, 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 first, the, sum of the first 10 terms will be uh, A into bracket 1 minus R power N all over 1 minus R where R is a common ratio and N is the number of terms. So we have 64 into bracket 1 minus R was a half power N. And N in this case is 10 all over 1 minus R, R which is a half. So we are going to have uh, 64 into bracket. When, when you subtract 1 minus 10 power, uh, 1 minus a half power 10, we are going to get uh, 1023 all over 1024 divide by 1 minus a half we have a half so here will be 64 times 1023 all over 1024 we are going to have a, we are going to have a 63 point 63 point 9 375 divided by a half so this will be 63.9375 times 2 which will be 127.875 so that is how you find the sum of the first 10 terms of the gp so viewers that is how you are supposed to tackle a question of this kind that is sequence and series thank you very much welcome and bye-bye.